Hello and welcome. In this CodeWorks JavaScript video, I'll be taking you step by step how I went about solving this weird string case challenge on CodeWorks.com. It's a really good challenge if you're just a beginner because it involves working with two dimensional arrays, converting strings into arrays and the other way around, and you also get to practice using loops. So there's a lot of really exciting stuff packed into this one. I solved this challenge in six easy steps, but first let me explain what it is. Your task is to take a string and convert it to what I call a Pokemon case, where lower and uppercase letters alternate. The rule you're supposed to follow is quite simple. Every even indexed word character is uppercase and odd indexed are lowercase. So the six steps I used and the thinking behind them is as follows. First, I want to make sure I don't have any uppercase letters on odd indexes, and I do that by changing the entire string to lowercase. Step two, because we're not supposed to take spaces into consideration, I want to get rid of them completely while also keeping my words separately. So I used a split string split method to accomplish that, and as a result, I'm working with an array of words now. Step three, now I want to go over each word in the array and split it up even further into separate arrays of letters, which will leave me with a two-dimensional array. Uh, step four. Next, I had to go over all the letters within those new arrays. So I used another loop within the first one. After that, step five, I needed to determine if the index is even or not and act accordingly with an if statement. And last but not least, uh, I had to join the letters back into words and words back into a sentence using array.join method. So now that you know what steps to take to complete this challenge, I do encourage you to try and do as much of this challenge as you can on your own, because that's just the best way to learn when you code it on your, by yourself. And I'll just get right into it. And if you remember, the first step was to make sure I don't have any wild uppercase letters anywhere. So I'll just reassign this string to itself and I'll turn it to lowercase. Uh, the second step was to split, uh, to get rid of all the spaces uh, by using the string.split method. Um, and I will use a spacebar as an argument, so that way uh, this method will split the string on every space and it will not include the spaces in my array. So if I console log it now, you'll see that I have an array of just single words, but there is not going to be any spaces here, as you can see. So the next step was to uh, go over all those words and split them up even further into arrays of single letters. So uh, I'm gonna use a for loop for that. And uh, the way for loop works is you set up a index variable first, then you set up a condition. For me, the condition is gonna be now, I want this uh, loop to run as long as i is less than uh, the length of the array. And uh, I want to increase i by 1 every iteration. And now I'm just going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it to the string of i. So if, if uh, i is equal 0 on the first iteration, then string of zero is going to be the first item in that array. So I'm picking this, and what I want to do is, again, reassign it to itself, and I want to split it up. And this time I will use an empty string as an argument, and that means that it will split up this string uh, on every letter. So if I console log the string now, you're going to see that I have a array, and then in that array there is more arrays of just single letters. Um, that is what is, that's what it's, what's two-dimensional 
that's what a two-dimensional array looks like. Um, so now uh, the next step was to iterate through all those items within those two-dimensional arrays. So uh, I'm going to use another for loop within the first one. That is really important. And I'll just do the same thing. But here I want j to be less than this the, this, the inside array, the one that we're on right now. So I'll have to use string of i dot length. And I'll be increasing j by 1 uh, as well. So um, now the way you get into those is pretty similar, but I remember that when I was learning, it was really hard for me to get this. Um, so let's say we're on our first iteration and uh, we want to get the uh, to the f into the first array and the first item. So uh, the way we're gonna do it is uh, zero and zero. That's it. And because we have those two, will be changing because on the next iteration we're gonna wanna go into the first array, but the second item. So we would leave the zero here, and we would change this zero to one. So. That's the way it's going to work. Now, i will not increase until the entire j loop is finished. So until j loop goes over all the items in the array, i will not increase and will not move on to the next array. Um, so now I want to take that item and again reassign it to itself and change it to uppercase. But uh, we need a condition for that because we don't want to change all of them to uppercase So the condition is that if the index is even we want to change it to uppercase So to check that we can just use the remainder operator uh, We can divide j by 2 and if the remainder is 0 that means it's an even number and That's pretty much it now uh, when this J loop is finished, I can put the word, put the letters back into words. So I'll just again reassign it to itself and join it. And I'm joining it the same way I split it up here. And now if I return my string, you see that I have an array of just words and that's not what I want. So I'm gonna join it back up. Again, the same way I split it up in the, in the first place. And this way I should be able to pass all the tests. And I do. Okay, so that's, that's it for, the, for this video. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you managed to do it yourself, uh, if you did it differently. I'm always interested and I will see you in the next video.